All right, welcome to my Kid Leroy Early Access Gameplay and Review. So first and foremost, shout out to Epic Games for gifting me the Kid Leroy skin early. Now of note, this is the first time they've ever done this. There are two Kid Leroy skins. There's the normal Kid Leroy, that's just his name, the Kid Leroy, and then there's the Rogue Leroy. So basically one is a white color scheme and one is a dark jet black color scheme. So Fortnite decided to give content creators that are Epic partners one, not both, just one. It's kind of like a surprise. So for example, on Twitter, I saw I talk Fortnite. He got the rogue one, which is the jet black one, and he has a cape. And as you can see, I did not get that one. I got the default one, which is just the kid Leroy. Now, likewise, the emotes are different. So he got one emote and I got another one, and we both got the same lobby track. So long story short, I only got half of what's coming out, and these come to the item shop on January 26th, which is two days from today, aka this Thursday. And remember, the concert is this Friday, the 27th. So obviously, the Kid Leroy, a very, very popular Australian rapper. I'm sure you'll know at least maybe five of his songs if you listen to the radio, including the one that I have a music pack for, which I'll show you in just a second. Now, I know who he is. I know his music. His music is really catchy, really good. However, I don't know much about the person, the Kid Leroy. For example, I have no idea why his quote is, leave me alone. Can someone explain that to me? And you'll notice that's a reoccurring theme in this particular set. So his description says, from dreamer to hit maker. And of course, he's an icon series skin. So again, right off the bat, we see leave me alone on his off-colored white shirt. He's got Chuck Taylors and some jeans on. Pretty standard looking skin. Now he's got Brett the Hitman Heart sunglasses on and some kind of necklace. I'm not sure what that pendant is around his neck though. Now this one does have multiple styles so you can change the hairstyle. This is the default, which is hair. You can put a pink hat on. Why is it pink? It's literally a cowgirl hat. That is what my daughter wears to fair when she shows horses. A rhinestone embedded cowgirl hat. I don't understand. Regardless, that's what you can toggle back and forth. And you can also toggle his glasses. So if you want to see his eyes, here's what he looks like without the hat. And then you can change the style. And this one's electrified and he turns into a Smurf. So I don't understand that either. Why? Why does he turn into a blue Smurf? Now it does show the hat on this version, but clearly you can still not have the hat on. Let's see if the hat changes. No, it looks the same. Do the glasses change? No. So with this electrified style, I think you're better off with the glasses not being on and the hair being evident and no hat. Interesting. So we're going to start like this and I'll show you all the other ones as well. His back bling says everybody else get mad. And at first I thought it was a bag of chips and I'm still convinced that that's what it is because they look like food and it literally spells out leave me alone. Again, the same quote on his shirt and they just kind of fly all over the place. They explode out of there. Kind of cool, but I, again, I don't understand the reference. Why is it a bag of chips? Now, there are two styles. Get my bag and left alone. And let's see what this one says. Same thing. Leave me alone. So this one does have some pink on it if you want to wear the cowgirl hat. And this one is cooler, in my opinion. Okay, so for the emote, it's heart of a king and it's traversal. So I guess you can ride around on that heart. So I'm going to turn my copyrighted music on so you can hear this just for a second because I'm not sure what song this is. So here we go. We oh yeah, okay, I know that song. That's pretty cool. And then we've got a music pack with the song most of you are probably familiar with. It's called Stay. So there it is right there. Now of note, there's a few bad words in this song and some references to some adult things. So they mute those out. So there's a lot of blanks and pauses during the song, which kind of is weird, but that's how it works. All right, let's hop into a match and check it out. I don't think anything's reactive, but we'll take a look. So it kind of stinks for this one because there's no pickaxe. So I just left what I had on. So pay no attention to my rap or my pickaxe, but the other rogue set does have a pickaxe, not this one though. So I think most people are gonna like the rogue one better. This is kind of the worst of the two in my opinion. So from this perspective, yeah, it doesn't really look that good. I mean, you got a bag of chips on your back. So it must be reactive, though, because I don't see it popping all over the place. But when you jump... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did me jumping cause it to do that? 
Oh yeah. Okay, so it's reactive to jumping. Oh, that's cool, I guess. Leave me alone. So I guess if you limb someone and they're spectating you, you could just keep jumping up and down and tell them politely to go away. So it doesn't happen every single jump, but periodically when you jump. <laughs> here he is from the front. Again, nothing really special here. Kind of a bland looking skin. Here's the Heart of a King Traversal Emote. So this one's kind of cool, at least it's glowing. Oh geez, you just hover around. What the heck is this? So this would be cooler if we could hear the song, but obviously it is copyrighted, so... Let's check everything out in the dark. Assuming the chips don't glow. Alright. It's kind of cool though. Very bright. So the hearts break as they come out. It's not bad. Alright, let's change it up a bit. So I'm going to put on the hat. I'm going to take the glasses off. And we're going to make him blue. <laughs> this is so weird. Let's change the back bling as well. I, again, I don't understand why he's blue. But we're doing it. Alright. There he is. The Smurf Leroy. With the pink cowgirl hat on. <laughs> so I'll be honest. I probably would not run this skin. The second one, the rogue one, yes. It looks really, really cool. But this one, I don't know. Let me spin him around again. Yep, he's a uh, blue smurfy guy. Same thing for the back bling, though. I like this back bling. The back bling is the highlight here. Wait a minute, why is this one not working? No! Why does this... There it goes. Okay, that one took a long time to activate. What the heck? There we go. Yeah, so, again, it doesn't work every single time. How about if you sprint? Does it come flying out? Sliding? No. And so it's literally only when you jump, but not every time, as you saw. And here's the emote with this style. Okay, so I'm going to turn the blue one on with glasses off and the normal hair, just to see if he's reactive real quick, and then we'll end the video. All right, here we go. Um. Okay, so let me go in the shade real quick because I just noticed you can see that this bro, you can see that there's like blue whirlwinds that go around you. I don't know if that was from me getting an a limb or if it's like that normally. So I'm going to get a limb here and see. Actually, we'll just keep it up real quick. We'll get a few more limbs and see if that changes. can't tell if it's going any quicker. Okay, so let's look at the pace here. So his eyes are clearly glowing. We do have that whirlwind effect that goes from his shoulders down to his hands, I guess? And the pendant is glowing as well. Okay, so let's get eliminated. So I blew up a car earlier, and that's all I can hear now. Listen. You can hear, like, the car burning. That's so weird. All right, so let's see if it still does that. Yep, we still have the whirlwind effect. We still have the pendant glowing. So it does not appear to be reactive. Oh, well, you know what? Hold on. Because the pendant really isn't glowing right there. Let's get one limb and see if it changes. Okay, so now it's really dark out. So again, that's what the pendant looks like before one a limb. Let's see what we can do here. No, okay, it's pretty much the same. That's a bummer. Yep, no reactivity. And here's the heart of a king. So he kind of thumps to the music. And you can roam around <laughs> with your bag of chips on the back. And a pink cowgirl hat if you want. There you go. The Kid Leroy. And a burning car in the background. So there you go, that is the Kid Leroy in his first skin. And like I said, there is gonna be another Rogue skin that comes with a completely different emote 
a back bling, and a pickaxe. So in my opinion, the Rogue One looks way, way better. And of course, I'll do a full gameplay and review when I get that on Thursday. That's when it comes out, remember. This is the one I got, and like I said, it's just okay. I don't ever see me running this skin, really. But the back bling, in my opinion, is worth it. However, to get the back bling, you have to buy the skin, so it's a double-edged sword. Best part about this by far is the reactive back bling. Just by jumping up and down, you can pretty much create proximity chat. How cool is that? Not via voice, of course, but by text. So like I mentioned, if someone's spectating you, you can jump up and down and say, hey, leave me alone. Don't watch me. I don't want you to watch me. That's pretty much proximity chat. Or if nothing else, you can kind of communicate with opponents. Leave me alone. That's all you can say. But hey, at least it's text and they can see it. Kind of cool. So that's the highlight of this bundle, in my opinion. Now, of course, if you have copyrighted music turned on, then you're going to love this emote and you're going to love the Stay music pack because it's a great song. So there you go. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this? Were you surprised by this skin or do you like it? A lot of unanswered questions for me, though, including that pink cowgirl hat. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.